Hello friends, Lord Verminard here again, back in my garage. Um, you guys wanted to see more of this, so I'm going to do it. Uh, it's um, normally not a, a recording day for me right now. There's some kind of eclipse that's getting ready to happen, so that should be interesting. I'm sure everything will be fine with that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been wanting to play this game, and you guys have been wanting to see it, so here we are. Um, so now we get to play the, the, the first part of every one of my videos is try to remember what the hell I was doing. And I think last time I was about ready to start this up or I even tried to start it up and it didn't start. Um, but uh, one of you in the comments said you forgot the coil. And looky there, there's the coil. I absolutely did forget it. So let's stick that guy on. Boink. Um, let's see, Titan. Yeah, I always, every time I, every time I play this game, I have to remember. Oh, I can't see it. I have to, every time I play this game, I have to remember what all the damn controls are. Okay, there, I can kind of see it. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. For tightening, right? But for some reason he just wants to pick it up. <sighs> I don't know where the bolt is. Alright, here we go. Let's just... There it is. There we go. Really? There's two bolts holding a coil on? That seems a little excessive. Alright. Uh, reset the view. So, I think everything else on here is good somebody said something about one of the ah one of the um drive shaft bolts wasn't connected or something i think i got all those also I, I realized that the flywheel on this is not good um let's see that fart that part doesn't have to that fart that part doesn't have to be bolted oh god Ugh, i'm stuck Help! <laughs> Get me unstuck. Okay. Alright, let's try that again. Also, somebody mentioned that there's a... Yeah, see, I think that shaft is connected fine. It's probably fine. What, what could go wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a, um, there's a, there's a better jack at the uh at the um the, the store the store place so i think getting one of those might be a good idea um let's see if she'll run now yeah look at that awesome all right we got a runner um oh my god just get out of the car. Why? Why? So. I think. I think we might have to venture into town. Um, I'm a little bit scared to drive this thing. Because this game can be. Uh, this game can be a little suspect. When it comes to the driving aspect of it. Um, and it's so easy to damage the vehicles in this game. It's like, it's so ridiculously easy for something terrible to happen to them. So that's why I'm not too concerned about how this truck looks or that everything's not perfect on it. Because I really just want a way to get stuff from where I live here into town. Um, until we buy the garage that's like, well, it's not even in town, I guess. It's Closer to being in town. <laughs> um, ah, until we get that. Oh, could you just pick it up? Uh, we're going to have to um, schlep our crap back and forth whenever I want to sell things at the, at the uh, pawn shop guy or pick up stuff that you can't get from the catalog, which is really, really annoying, but I guess it's, you know, makes sense, I guess. And also, I don't, I'm... I'm a little ashamed to admit, I kind of don't really remember how to get to town. 
watched Scapegoat do it a few times, and I think I have the general idea, but... <laughs> we'll see. I may have mentioned this before, but getting getting lost in games is something that I do a lot, because for some reason I just am not good with mental maps of, of stuff. Uh, so, I might get lost. And that's fine. Whatever. See, I have this hub that I think I bought the wrong one. I, I do need these. These are the handbrake cables. But I can't I can't replace the handbrake on this thing without a better jack because I just can't get underneath it. So So we can't use the handbrake. Um Okay, are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Let's let's do it. Uh also you know something I need to do. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I had to adjust my my volume. All right. Okay. Um, so let's go reverse. Why won't it shift into reverse? Uh. Uh. Wait a minute. Do I have... I must not have it. There it is. Okay. I don't have it mapped right. Or at least don't have it mapped in a way that I can remember. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so why is the camera doing what it's doing right now? Is it just because I'm in reverse? Let's hope that's what it is. Alright. Stop. Okay, there we go. That's better. That's better. Alright, so I think I have to go this way. Oh god, there's a car right there. I can't see. Can't see. I can't steer. I can't do anything. What's going on here? Everything is very weird. I'm not so sure I like this camera view. Um, yes, this is better. Also, this thing is handling very weird. Oh, God, this is so scary. <laughs> and there's like such a huge lag with the steering. Like, I push it and nothing happens for a very long time. And then it suddenly just like yanks over to the side. I'm gonna have to investigate the mouse steering thing. I think I remember doing that last time I played this. Um, oh god. Oh jeez, this is so bad. Uh. Oh no. What the hell is that? Okay, just, it's gonna stall. That's fine, I guess. Oh god, let's just get out of here. Just get out. Just get out. Ah, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> the driving experience in this game is very, very bad. That's okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. Don't be going using too much bondo now. What's up, Scape? <laughs> Alright, um Alright, sell off this Kree app. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need. I don't have a whole lot of money, but I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to get while I'm here. Oh. Also, we have to talk about, um, um, not end game, I guess, but I guess we need to talk about future goals in this game. Um, so there's races, right? Uh, I've never done any of that because that wasn't a thing when the last time I played this game. Um, so I don't know what to expect. It's also scary considering uh, the issues that I have with the driving in this game. But it's a challenge, right? So I think what I want to do, hear me out here, is build a car or something, build a vehicle that can compete in all of the races. So there's like a drag race, I think. There's 
um, a road course. Uh, and there's, um, like a rally race too, I guess. And I don't know what any of them look like or how it works or anything like that. But what I'm thinking about doing is getting a vehicle that can race in all of those events. Um, I think that would be kind of fun. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is work towards building that. And, of course, I think I need to get the, um, the garage... Uh, just to, you know, to make, to make everything easier, but, um, but yeah, so we can do F1 to mouse steer. All right, so let's, um, yeah, let's try that. All right, so, uh, oh, so we got mouse steering. Um, Okay, so now we do... Wait, uh... Oh my god. How do I... Okay. Alright, so we're mouse steering, and now we can shift into D. Okay, this seems like it might be a little bit better. What is going on with my truck? Seems to be having a difficult time here. Um, is it gonna even make it home? Do I need gas? Is that what's going on? Uh... Okay. I, I don't understand what's going on. It looks like it might be out of gas. Let's 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 hope that that's what's going on. <laughs> I don't even know where the hey, where are you going? I know that I know that your parking brake is broken, but uh where do you fill the stupid thing up at? It's gotta be over here, right? Is that it? Wow. Clear down there. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I'll use this pump over here then. Alright. Hopefully that doesn't go through the ground. It didn't. Whoops. Alright, I don't know how to... Filling. There we go. Also, I hope this is gas and not diesel. I didn't even look. I better look. For God's sakes. <laughs> oh, crap. <sighs> okay, and I can't get... Oh, my God. I have so royally screwed this up. All right. All right, here. Let's just give you a little shove. Gently. Gently. Whoop. Rip the door off. Okay. There we go. little shove. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. All right. Here we go. Hopefully I didn't put so much diesel in that that, um, that it won't run now. <laughs> okay. Now I think you find out it's full. Still says filling, so... That's gotta be enough, right? How much was that? Jeez, that was like a hundred dollars worth of fuel. What the hell? Alright. Freaking thing better be full. Now I can't... I know I can't afford that stupid jack. <laughs> Crap. Alright, um... All right, well, you know what? I'm just going to go home because, uh, because this is 
This is kind of terrifying here. Hopefully it'll freaking run and I didn't destroy it. Alright. How do I... Oh, man. It looks like I borked it. So it's full. <sighs> God sakes. All right. <laughs> Just. <laughs> um, uh, okay, tow it. Okay, how do I... Um, I do it this way. Tow it to house for a hundred freaking dollars. And now I gotta, uh, now I gotta, I gotta tow myself there. So taxi to house. There we go. Okay. So it looks like what I have to do is drain the freaking fuel tank. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> All right. So let's, let's do some jobs. Let's do some work. Um, I need, I need more money to fix my screw up. Car is not moving. A hundred dollars? Uh, that hardly seems worth it. Um, all right, what do we got going on in here? Clearly, you can't have a can't have a uh, munch transmission for a hundred bucks. Also, I apologize. People just started mowing their grass as soon as I started doing this video, so there's nothing I can do about that. If you're hearing a bunch of background noise, I have I have all the noise canceling and all that crap going on just because I have kids and kids and animals and there's dogs in the neighborhood and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Does this thing have a bad clutch? If it does, uh, I'm not doing that job for a hundred bucks. There ain't no way. Um, the transmission looks good. I didn't see the, I couldn't really see the clutch plate, but, um, here, how do I turn this thing on here? Yeah, I said that clutch is slipping big time. Man. All right, I'm not doing this job. Screw that. 100 bucks for a clutch job? You're in, are you on drugs? There ain't no way. <laughs> I feel like the calculations of the labor uh, for jobs like that in this game are a little bit off. Because it's like in you know in real life if you have if you have a bad clutch plate even if the even if the flywheel and the flex plate are good you're gonna replace them anyway like you there are very few cars you can buy just a clutch plate and not replace the rest of the stuff then you got to do the throttle bearing and stuff and you have to do the release arm and you should do the rear main seal while you're in there um, you know like. If it was some piece of crap car I didn't care about and all I needed was a clutch plate and you could get one for 50 bucks at Advanced Auto Parts, then yeah, I might do that. But I don't know. Knowing my luck, you replace the clutch plate and then like, ah, damn. Um, you replace the clutch plate and then like, you know, a thousand miles later or something, the rear main starts leaking. Like that, that's always what would happen. Why are the customers not coming? Oh, is it because I have this stupid jack in the way? That I can't pick up? All right. Get out of here. Can't start my car. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Paint. Seven hundred bucks. All right. Oh, uh, has to be one of these stupid things. 
All right. Um, say what now? Current color and original color. 768B62. 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 Okay, that looks green to me. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I can get this done in five. Uh. Look at me using the using the backpack like a like a smart person. All right. Um. Here we go. Wow. I don't know if this color is an upgrade. Let's see if I can get this, see if I can use as little paint as possible here. <laughs> it's a Mako job. If anybody, if you know anybody lives someplace where there's Makos, you, you know what I'm talking about. Like you could call a Mako paint job like one step better than a, than a rattle can. And even then, like with, with some of the, like, uh like the I think it's Krylon brand. Like some of the some of the rattle can paints are actually very, very good now. Like way better than they used to be. And if you take the time to do all the prep and everything and you get a proper UV clear coat on it, like it'll be, you know, pretty darn good. But um yeah, Mako jobs were just were were just ba basically one step better than 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 like rust oleum. <laughs> Alright, can't get the hood. This is annoying. Okay, there we go. I think I missed a spot somewhere over here. Oh, it looks like I got it. These stupid rockers, which are a pain. There's a lot of surface on this car to paint. Freaking wagons. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right, so anyways, yeah, this, this eclipse thing is happening. Um, I can remember the last one. I was in school, uh, and they let us, they, you know, they get it, gave us all the little glasses, and we all went outside, and it was pretty neat. Um, I don't know. The weather said that it was supposed to be cloudy, and there was probably a good chance that we wouldn't even be able to see it here. But, you know, this being Ohio, and Ohio's weather being what it is, right now, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, and... The eclipse is supposed to happen in a couple of hours, so I'm not saying that it's not possible for it to cloud over by then, but um, it looks like we might be in good shape, so I'm, I'm hoping we get to see it again. My kid, my kid will love to see it, too. He doesn't seem too excited about it right now, but I don't think he also really realizes exactly what's going to happen, so yeah. All right. I think we're going to be able to get this done. Uh, uh, I kind of wish that there was a way you could um, take stuff out of the bag or out of your backpack like into your hand. That would be very convenient. Maybe there is a way. I don't know. It seems like like the one that's what, one of the complaints that I've had about this game and why I was kind of hesitant to play it. Um, and like make you know do videos with it and stuff is because the the controls are just so janky f to me and it's not like a dig on the game right like i just think that for some reason that just the game does not feel the controls in this game do not feel intuitive to me at all and i don't know i don't know why um now it, it's also entirely possible that i'm just not a very good gamer uh i've never made any kind of um 
I've never tried to give you guys any sense that I was really good at what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I bumble through stuff. Like I, you know, I played games a lot when I was younger, and then I went for a very long time without really playing any of them. Um, you know, because because you know life and stuff. Um, so yeah, I you know, I like to say I'm a little out of practice. I play I play some games a lot, and I, there are some games that I just you know I kept playing even when I didn't really have time to do it. <laughs> Like Elder Scrolls stuff and Binding of Isaac, I played that a lot. Uh, so yeah, doing this whole like variety gaming thing is kind of new to me. It's definitely taken me out of my comfort zone because I didn't want to. I didn't want to appear like I didn't know what I was doing, you know. But now it's kind of like I'm, I've just kind of embraced it and I'm just rolling with it. Please, I want to get this done with this last can. I don't want to have to buy another one because I don't have any money. Oh. All right. Jams. Rockers. Missed a spot there. Doors. Oh, my God. I hope this is it. I think we got it all guys. Now there's some there's some tricky bits on this on this particular model of car. Crap. That's what I was afraid of. Alright. Um is this these dumb cars have so much trim and stuff. Uh <laughs> trim. Giggity. Alright. Um <laughs> so much trim on them. But come off. Whoops, that was the wrong piece. Oh God, what, what's going on? Okay. Okay, so I got that. Odd. I have a feeling it's gonna be the stupid rockers. Oh, there's a bit right there. I better get that. Where's the paint? Keep hitting tab because I'm used to doing that in another game. <laughs> all right please be good damn it all to hell uh it's like there's a spot in there here let's let's go ahead and just pop these rockers real quick See, this one doesn't... Oh, yeah, it does have that. Okay. So there's multiple pieces that I have to deal with here. But it looks like they're all painted. Looks like maybe there's... No, that's not... It's just the light. Well, crud. Uh, man, I really don't want to tear the whole freaking car apart. Oh my god, they're all, everything's painted. Uh, all right, let me buy one more can. I'm already out a whole bunch of money, though, from this. Let's see, we got... We got all that. Now, those bits are usually hard to get to. Oh, crap. Did one of those trim panels just fall through the earth? I think it did. Ugh, that's probably going to be the end of this job, then. All right, for some reason I can't spray this one without picking it up. That's kind of unusual. Oh, it looks like there was a spot there that I missed. Uh, maybe that's it. 
Let's hope that's it. And I think there was one up here. Now there's a little spot here. That's got to be it, right? I get the roof? Yes, amazingly, I got the roof. All right, what's that? Six. Um. All right, let's take all that stupid panel out. Okay, it looks like I might be able to do a little bit there. Of course, that didn't paint it. Out of paint. Grab another one. So that's what? That's at least 200 bucks in paint now, right? Ugh, jeez. Losing my ass. Um. <laughs> you can get back in there. Close that. Is there a spot right there I missed? Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. Uh, so I guess next I'm going to be ripping the door panels off. Is that is that what's going on now? You know, I really do like this car in the game because I'm a fan of the old Mercedes uh, models of this of this era. But uh, in game, these things are a pain in the butt to work on because they have so many little pieces. All right, it's, I've imagined it's probably a part in the door. So let me um. Yeah, that's probably what it is. I bet. All right, let's just blast these out real quick. God, just no, no, just do that. There we go. Yes, okay, this will probably get it. This will probably get it. If, as long as I don't use up all my paint, and as long as it doesn't glitch out like it's doing right now by not spraying. All right, all those jams look tasty. Yes, very nice, very nice. And this is the only way to paint a car. You get inside of it, you get inside the car, and just go to town with a spray can. Yeah, that's how you paint it. Don't tape off the interior or anything. <laughs> uh. Also, I would like you to stand up, please. There we go. All right, that has got to be everything. Oh my God. What, what could be left? There's literally nothing left. Is that it? Is that what they're, is that what it's complaining about? Again, I didn't want to, like, blow apart this whole car. Hey, while I'm under here. All right, I don't see anything that I missed over here. Oh, there was a spot right there, though. All right, that one's out. 
How are we now? This is unbelievable. Alright, there's a spot. Alright, do I have to take the trim panel off the hood too? Because I never remember having to do that before with these jobs. Alright, it doesn't look like that comes off. <laughs> Just launched my... <laughs> okay. Launched my tool. Why can't I take the interior, the trim off of that hood? Is it just not, does that not work? All right, I guess that doesn't work. So I guess I need another can of paint. All right, so I've learned something. Um, don't try to paint the wolves. <laughs> They're just, it's too hard. Let's see, got that end, got that. All right, please tell me that this thing is good now. Oh my God, what is left? <laughs> I've painted everything. What's wrong? I don't, I don't understand what's left. There isn't anything. Oh my God, if I have to abandon this job, I am going to be in bad shape um does it have like inner fenders that need to be painted no like this this part on the pillar right here oh that one's empty all right so there's there's these parts on the pillar right here All right, we got those. I think I think I did anyway. Whoa. So it looks like this one is worse than the other one. <sighs> okay, please tell me that was good enough. Oh my God. I really don't want to give this up. I have spent so much money on paint. I guess I'm just not going to do these job this this car anymore because this is like ridiculous. I know that I've painted one of the cabriolets once, and that one went fine. I, I'm pretty sure I've painted a couple of different versions of this car. But it just, it won't. I don't know what else to do, guys. Um, that's not what I meant to take off. So apparently you can't take these, these trim pieces off right here. Nope. Okay. Uh, I don't know what else is left. Like, is that, is it talking about like the, the very underneath part of the rockers, like way under there? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it one last shot. 
and then I'm I'm giving it up. Don't you dare slide off of there. I mean, that looks fine to me, but let me get one more can. <sighs> I mean, I could put myself in a real bad spot here if... Here, alright, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, remove that. Yeah, see, there's a spot right there that I missed, but is that enough to, like, ding the whole job? All right. Put you back on. Drop her back down. Oh my god. I hate this so much. Yeah, look at that. I bet that's what they're dinging me on. I bet that's it. If that's not, then, I mean... Seriously, like, what else is there? That's got to be it. That's got to be it. All right, are you happy now? Oh my god, it's... <laughs> no. I, I don't know what to do. Um... So I can't, I can't... I can't take out the headliner. I have to unbolt a bunch of crap. I've got all that. Um, let me pull the rear bumper. I, I, I can't remember if there's anything underneath that or not. This is ridiculous. All right, where's the stupid bolt? There's that one, that one. I don't know what the right way to get to those is. Yeah, see, there's nothing to paint under there. And this is fully painted. Yeah, I think the game's just screwing me. I, I don't, I don't know what else is left. I don't know what to do. Like, to take the headliner out, I gotta take... Uh... Alright, let me check. Let me check one more freaking thing. Um, not giving up yet. I'm about to, but I'm not. Here, let me, let's put this back down. Um, where'd my pry tool go? Oh, it's back here. Okay. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, um, this crap. 
there anything to paint under that? Nope, there is nothing to paint under there. And the hood is painted, so... Stick that back on. Close the hood. Um... Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Maybe it's behind the license plates? Like, I, I feel like the spray would have gotten there. Um... Yeah, there's nothing there. Use nose. Yep, it's all painted. So it wasn't that. And I'm. All right, let me take off the front bumper. I, I'm almost positive that there's not a panel that needs to be painted behind it. And I already did the trim, right? So we know the bumper trim. We already know it's not behind that. And the other bolt seems to be invisible. There it is. All right, that's having a little bit of a freak out. Let's spin this upside down so I can look at it better. That's all painted. Everything is painted. All of this is good. Yeah, I don't think I can do this one. Why can you only see it from one direction? You can't see it from the... Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, so that doesn't come off with the screw. Okay, so I probably have to pry the, um... Yeah, I've got to pry these, all these trims off. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what the hell is going on now? Excuse me, what? There's some weird crap going on here. All right, I'm just going to blow apart this whole car. Forget it. But for some reason, my trim tool is just is wigging out here. All right, so there's nothing underneath the roof trim. I thought I already took you out. Okay, I did. Get out of here. So did that take out the headliner? No. What did that take off? Okay, that took out the rear glass. That's not what I wanted to do either. I want the headliner to come off. Oh, do I have to take these off first? I bet I, I, bet I have to take those off now. I've made a total mess of this car, but I'm also under the impression that it's probably not going to get done at this point. But I'm, I'm, I've like... I've just about like lost my mind so much that I kind of just feel like I have to figure it out now. 
Okay, those came out. So what, what's holding the headliner on now? Oh, probably the probably the rear view. Yeah. All right. Screwdriver. <clears throat> That's weird, those bolts didn't highlight. Interesting. Okay, that's still not coming out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Phew, that's a big job. All right. So is there any paint in here that needs to be done? Nope, look at that. It's all done. All the pillars are painted. So there's one little spot back there. Those are all done. There's a little spot there. Like if it's going to if it's going to ding me for that. Oh my god. I wouldn't even care if that was painted on my on my on my actual car. Nobody's going to see it. It's going to be under trim. <laughs> All right, so where was that spot? Right there. Those pillars. Okay, those pillars there. Uh, can I get in the back? It's probably not going to let me. Nope. All right, let me check these, I guess, since I've got everything blown apart. And now I can't slide over to the other front seat, even though I could do that before. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Yeah, this is the last time I paint one of these cars. There is no way I'm doing this again. Especially for for seven hundred bucks, hell no. My whole episode is going to be this dumb car. See, that still didn't fix the color. You know what? I'm I'm over it now. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So now I have to do a job. That isn't going to cost me more than eighty nine dollars. Um, and if I can't do that, then I'm going to have to sell my truck that I just got back together. Man, that sucks. I can't. Battery is dead. I can't afford that. Pistons can't do that. Battery wires are bad. Car sits uneven. All right, a single body panel. I'm sure I can do this. Um, oh my god. Which panel is it? They're all the same color. <sighs> this game is gonna... Okay, there it is. I'm gonna say. I was about ready to freak out. I was about ready to lose it. You were gonna, you were gonna, you all were gonna witness me having a breakdown on, uh, in this video. <laughs> okay, breathe. We got this. All right. AED F7A. AED F7A. Uh, that looks right to me. By one can. Hopefully I can do this in one can. I think I can. And I don't think I have to fiddle around with taking it off or any of that business. There we go. Is that what you wanted? Give you a little extra just because, because I'm not going to use this ugly ass color for anything else. All right. Big job. Thank God. <laughs> All right. Phew. All right, I can afford to do a bigger job now. 
No, I'm not doing that. Steering, shocks, cars not moving. Handling, battery, cars not moving. Pistons, can't start. Rust and repaint. What do we got here? $2,800? Oh my. Um, oh. <laughs> Can you believe that? I really want the money. Doesn't look like there's that much rust on this thing. It's not that bad. Wouldn't have to mess with painting the doors. There's a little bit of rust right there. There's some right there. Crap. I just said that I'm never going to paint one of these cars again, but this isn't a full respray. Let's use my x-ray vision here. I think I think this one looks like it's going to be a pretty easy job. Um, I don't see any on the rockers. I don't see any up front because the bumpers are plastic. Uh, just a little bit there and some back here. And it's not a wagon either. So, all right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right, that one's clean. Uh, let's open this up. Let's do that little bit there. That got the whole door somehow. Awesome. I love it when that happens. All right. Let's go to town on this bit here. You know, I really need that sandblaster too. That would... Oh, look at that. It just magically went away. All right. So did that one. I'm getting lucky with the, with the grinder today. Okay, is that it? Oh, no way. Um... You all saw that, right? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Not say a damn thing. All right. After that last one, after that last stupid wolf wagon job, I am taking it. <laughs> okay. All right. We're doing pretty good now. Um, get another couple of lucky jobs like that. And uh, I've had I've had a couple of jobs where the rust and repaint job where the car shows up and there's no rust on it, and you do the you check you check the condition and it says it's good, and you just complete the job. Like I've had a couple like that where it just gives it to you for free basically. It looks like the only rust on this one is okay. I was gonna say, is it gonna let me close this one too? <laughs> All right, this one's going to be tricky because you can't, um, okay, maybe you can. Is the, is the game feeling bad for me right now? <laughs> okay, we found a new way to do this. We have discovered a new way to repair rust in this game. We just don't paint them at all. We just take the job. We... Kiss the rust with the grinder for two seconds, and then we give it back to the customer, and everything is fine. <laughs> ah, this is great. I, I want more of those jobs. That's Those are the kind of jobs I want to do. Fuel tank. That sounds boring. I want to do this. Give me this. Ah. All right, thousand bucks. We can do that. Oh, it's another stupid wolf. Look at that. Okay, so there's one spot there. This looks like the same freaking color the other one was too. It's not, but it's it looks almost identical. Okay, that's the only rust I see on this thing. Is that is that rust there? No, I don't think that's well, that's something. I don't know what it is. 
All right, let's try our magic grinder trick again. See if this works. Don't think it's going to work this time. There must be more. Because I didn't, it didn't like, you know, pop like it normally does. Uh, yeah, there's still rust somewhere. Crap. Where is it hiding? Let's see, let's see. I wonder where it is. I don't see any more. Unless it's on the inside of the door panel, maybe? I think the game is a little bit broken. <laughs> uh... Oh, there's none there, that's for sure. Um, hello? Yeah, it still says there's rest somewhere. Alright, I'm gonna pop the rocker panels, I guess. Let me see if I can x-ray vision them real quick here. Oh, nope, nope. I don't see any. Uh, let's pop it off here real quick. There might be some behind the door here as well. Aha! All right. Where'd my Mr. Grinder go? Here it is. There we go. I bet that's it. Yep, that's it. Sweet. All right. We'll just need one can of paint for this one. A0A, B90. All right. Let's get this done. All right, let's get this piece of crap out of here. Damn. <laughs> what am I missing? I painted everything. There's no rust left. This is going to be another one of those, like... I, I, I bet it's not going to work. I bet no matter what I do, it's not going to be complete. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that sky. Looks ominous as F. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we got a cool 5G's. Uh, I'm kind of thinking maybe... I'm, I'm thinking of a challenge here. So y'all know that we can like... We can buy a car from the junkyard. We can clean it up. We can bang the dents out of it. We can de-rust it and send it down the road. And make a couple of thousand bucks sometimes. Excuse me, taking a drink. I think what I want to do is go to the junkyard and buy the cheapest car they have there. I want to buy the cheapest one and bring it back and see what we can do with it. What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Or at least let's get that process started. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it today. But, um, yeah, let's give it a shot. Uh, so we go to the junkyard. Here we go. And let's see. Oh, 
intermission. <laughs> okay, stuff is going to spawn in. Game is going to have a fret. All right. The the dude just disappeared. <laughs> okay. Show me what you've got. This is the only... Okay, we've got a wolf here. What is this? 7300 bucks for this pile? Oh my god, are you on drugs? There's no way. I'm, and the bike... I'm not gonna... The bike doesn't count. This is a hundred... No, that's the bike. I was gonna say, there's no way this car is worth 130. That's 3200. It has no engine. It has... The frame is destroyed. I kind of... I don't think this counts, right? There's only two cars here. Like, I don't understand why more didn't spawn. And why'd the dude leave? Like, he's, he was there. He's gone now. I think I got, uh, I think I got ripped off here. All right, let's go home. Now, does that respawn every time you visit, or does it respawn every day? Here, that's just in case. Let's do this. All right, there's a day. Back to the junkyard. All right, here we go again. All right. We have some cars. If you steal anything, I will find you. Yeah, good. All right. Um, wh how come there's no cars here? Like, there's no actual cars. I don't understand. I know I have it set in the options to spawn more. Jeez, 9,000. 7,500. Yeah, I can't afford any of those. There's a little Neve. What's this? 4,100 bucks. See, I want something cheaper than that. I want, like, I want dirt cheap. Here, can, is that an op? Let me check those options here. Um, I thought that there was a way to change that. Junkyard size. Oh, here we go. There. Okay. Change that to 10. Let's go back home. Sleep off another day and then uh, and then see what we can find. Okay. Uh, boink, 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 boink. There. Junkyard again. And now, this is going to take longer. Ah, here we go. Anyways, how you guys doing? I don't know if I've asked that yet today. I hope everybody's doing great. I hope that uh, if you have a chance to see the eclipse today, that you can, because it's probably going to be pretty cool. Um, I mentioned before that it wasn't cloudy. It's starting to get a little bit cloudy here now. Just in the time that I started this video. So, we'll see what happens. It is Ohio. After all, things can change in a matter of moments. And also, if you're new to the channel, if you're here because of my garage, um, I stream, or well, not stream, I guess, not yet. I, I play other games, uh, The Long Drive and Mon Bazoo. Um, I'm open to playing other games as well. Um... But if you're here because of my garage, check out my other content, if you feel like it. Or not, that's fine too. Look at that. Look at that! A racing seat for 50 bones? I might just buy that, just because. 
It's front right, though, not front left. Huh. Interesting. All right, we've got... What's this piece of crap? Okay, that's 1200 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Look at this one. $2,900. That's a lot more. What do we got here? I have nothing, apparently. 34 Okay. There's another one. It's also front right. Huh. How about a driver's side one? Okay, that one's 37 That's a little much. I, I feel like the price is on the... Whoa, 790 bucks. No engine. Huh. Wow, she's, uh... She's pretty rough, this one. There's a headliner. Is that the one for this car? I bet it was. It's not letting me put it back in. Yeah, that was probably the one for this car. Actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. That's weird that it won't let me put it back on. Should have brought my tools. This thing is pretty pretty rough, but I wonder if we can make wonder if we can actually make some money off of it. Let's see what else they got. Uh what's this? Whoa. Picking crap all over the place. Alright, that's thirty eight hundred. That's a lot. Wow. What's this one? Twelve seventy eight lad coop. Let's see, did I check this Jesse yet? Two thousand bucks. Got an Eve over here. Seventeen hundred bucks. We've got that one's twenty six. So it looks like that seven hundred dollar car is gonna be our best bet. Um was that this one? It was this one, wasn't it? And that front end is just wang. Yeah, it's like making me buy the headliner. That's crap. All right, we're buying this one. 700 bucks. Let's take it. Um, Is there anything that I can use in here right now for that car? It's got no engine, right? So we got to put an engine in it. Uh... See, I didn't bring my tools, so I can't pop an engine out of one of these cars. So I'm thinking, I'm not thinking of like a full restoration. I'm just thinking like sticking it back together with whatever parts I can find. And seeing how much we can actually make. I think that sounds like fun, actually. Um, but I don't know if I have enough money to actually put it back together. So I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get pretty creative. See, I think I need this. I think the cross member in that thing was dinked. Uh, front right for a lad coupe. Uh, and we'll see if we can... Oh, there's a uh, an i6... An I six block that's in good shape for three hundred bones. What if we put an I six in it? Kind of sounds fun. All right, give me that. I'll take it. Um. All right, one more sweep here. I'd love to have these seats, but <sighs> all right, I'm buying one. <laughs> Maybe I'll find the driver's seat somewhere. There's a 4.2 diff. I don't know if the diff is any good in that car, so I'm not going to buy one if I don't know if I need it. Yeah, I'm only going to buy stuff that I know I need, so... Uh, yeah, I already at some point I'm going to have to come back and get these parts. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I wish I could just throw these in the car and then tow the car home. Like, that's how I would do it if I was actually... If I was actually doing it. <laughs> Yeah, see that front cross member's dinked, so. Um, it's only got one seat in it. Crap. Floor pan's gone. Gas tank is gone. Missing the taillights. 
Yeah, I think we can fix this turn up. I mean, I've seen worse cards in this game. All right, let's send it home. Uh, tow it to house. Actually, I put it. I should have put it in the. Well, eh, it doesn't matter. And I'll leave that crap here. Come back and get it some other time. All right, taxi to house. There we go. And uh oh, didn't even think about that. Can I even push it to where it needs to go? Okay, the e-brake is off, so let's... Come on. Go this way. Go this way. Here we go. That's fine. I'll just roll it there if I have to. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. No, don't fall down the hill. Yeah, so now we have to also be thinking, like I said, I want to do all the races, and I need I want to build one car that can do all the races. Um so that's gonna be like the long term goal, I guess. Uh, I guess one thing I need to do is learn how to drive in this game. It's not easy. Uh, come on. Just go. Uh-oh. Okay. Why aren't you going? Oh, my God. Ugh, quit freaking out. Tire's flat. That's probably one of the reasons why it won't go anywhere. Fine. Let me just pump it up here real quick. Where's my flater majiggy? Okay, there's that one. So yeah, thinking about the cars. Um you know, I could I could take like you know one of these lads. That's probably the lightest car in the game, and stick a V8 in it. Um, and it would probably be plenty fast. But, oh god, I don't know how well it would handle. Um, and I kind of think that like the handling would probably be more important, especially for doing rallying and what. Oh yeah, that makes it a little easier. Excellent. All right. Uh, let's pull the e-brake. If it even works. I don't know if it even works. And start, um... Start removing some panels here. So we know that the hood is mangled. I don't even know if I can bang this back into shape. So let's try. Uh, hammer. Where are you at? Keep hitting tab, and I, it's not what I need to be doing. So it's not going to let me hammer that while it's not mounted on the car. That makes sense. Cool. Cool. All right, so I can't do this fender. I can't do the, any of this. I can't do any of that. Can't do this fender. Wow, I can't, I can't bang any of these. Actually, quite a bit of the car looks pretty straight. This is what, the B-pillar? It's like that rocker is dinked. 
Uh, see if we can open the door and whack on the rockers here a little bit. Oh, it's not letting me do it. So we do have a, quite a few panels to replace on this thing. And it's not a... It's a yeah, it's a sedan too, which makes it even more difficult. I think we're going to have to replace that rocker. I might be able to save this door, actually. Doesn't look that bad. Um, what if I should try and reattach this hood? Uh, apparently, it's not going to let me do it at all. All right, well, it's not letting me do that. So I need a hood. I need... Let's just start taking stuff off here. All right, so we need that, we need that. And I'm going to try to get as much of this crap from the junkyard as I can. Oh, those are screws. Figures. All right, this door is toast. This door panel is toast. Ah, uh, come on. That should give me the winder. I wonder if the winder is usable. Nope. Broken. All right. Ah! Oh, my God. Just... Is there just one on each hinge? Where'd my wrench go? Uh, I'm still using it. Why can't I un undo this door? Yeah, there's two on there, so I thought. All right. <clears throat> I only see one on the bottom. But I can't I can't remove the door. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, get off of here. Okay, uh, that went smoothly. <laughs> um, so I need the screwdriver for. Whoa, I need the screwdriver for this part. Okay, that's the grill. That grill looks... Yeah, it looks a little bit... A little bit wanged. Get rid of that. Uh... Let's see. We need to get... The bumper off. Where's... There it is. I can't tell if the bumper's tweaked or not. There we go. That looks a little bit dinged up to me, so we need a new bumper too. Man, we need a lot of stuff here. I don't know if this is going to be cost effective. Let's see, we need... Definitely need most of the headlights. Uh, it's not coming off. There we go. Oh, my screwdriver just vanished. 
I could probably take the lights out, but or the the bulbs actually. But why bother? All right, we got one good headlight here. So I'm gonna take that one off. I guess I need a good parts pile. Um, let's do it right here, I guess. All right, and I think the rest of this crap I have to cut off. Which, what I might do, like I do in real life, is have two grinders. Because having to constantly switch... Having to switch discs all the time is a massive pain. <clears throat> Come on, pick it up. There we go. All right, so I think we whack that bit and whack that bit. And this one and this one. Ah, oh, that was easy. So we've got one good marker light. I'm going to I'm going to take every good part that's on this thing. Uh I I don't want to waste like a single thing. That part doesn't actually look to be that that winged up, but Okay. And just for fun, I'm going to try to bang that panel out again. I'm so I thought that you could take the panels off and straighten them. But maybe I'm wrong. Yep, it does not let you do that. That sucks. I kind of wish that it lets you do more of the straightening, the panel straightening, because like a good body man can straighten just about anything, right? Most of the time it doesn't make sense to do that because uh, of the work involved and all that, but... Um, Let me guess, this is still connected to something. Oh, yeah, right there. Still not coming out. What else are we connected to? Oh, over here. Oh, and the other side still has... Still has uh, control arms and stuff. Yeah, all of this crap is dead. Did we get it? Let's see, there's a front shock that that's good. <laughs> we can use that. Was there even one on this side? Looks like there is. Let's see if I can just take all this crap out. See, that's loosened. Okay, that's loosened, so that should come flying out of there. There it is. That one's no good. Um, I need the spring compressor to get the spring out, obviously. Unbolt all of this nonsense. Pretty sure all that's bad anyway. It is. Steering rack's bad. Is tie rod any good? Nope, that's not good either. Uh... That spring is good. Keep that. This is not going to be the race car, I should add. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna choose a different. Whoa! I'm gonna choose a different car for that. Um. So yeah, that's you know still to be determined at this point. All right, that should get the. The uh, subframe out. We have a 
good brake disc and a good hub. So we'll keep those. That hub carrier is not good. Uh, caliper is not good, but the pads are. Although, I don't know if it really does me any good to, to save one set of pads, because I think they come in a pair. Or, they come in, like, both fronts, you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah. Alright, are these wires any good? Uh, I can't tell. I think they are. The master cylinder is good, but the booster is not. I think I gotta go in the car to do that. Uh, let's see. Can I detach it from the... Or is it all one piece? So it's all one piece. Well, that's a rip. Okay. Ender fenders are both good. They don't appear to be... Well, that one might be wanged. Ah, oh, crap. I think it is. And I probably can't fix it either, huh? Nope. Well, that sucks. There it is. Okay, so that one's no good. Pretty sure this one's good. That looks fine to me. Yeah. All right, so this door we're going to try to salvage. Um, so let's pull this door off. And I think... Not letting me open the window. Is the winder broken? Yeah, that glass is good. These glass panels are almost impossible to see, so I'm going to put these like on a shelf or something. Oh yeah, that one's that one's dorked. Wanged up. Um Take this door off. Got a piece of trim in there that fell out? What is that? I don't really know. Yeah, this door is good though. Um or wait, is it? Look at this big crease up there. Aw oh, man. And you can't remove the the frame isn't a separate piece, is it? Crap. Here I am trying to save money. And it's not going to let me beat on it either. All right, well, I guess I just, I guess I just need to get another door. That sucks. All right, we know this rocker is screwed. So let's cut that out. Um, all right, we're out of discs. Really, really annoying that the discs don't last longer than that. Uh, 
See, the floor pan in here is junk, too. Wow. No wonder this thing was so cheap. <laughs> Alright, what am I missing to get this out? There it is. Okay. All right, so that's junk. And I think what I'll do not on camera is uh, take like an inventory of all this crap so that I have a list of what I need to get when I go to the junkyard. This pillar looks good though. Yeah, I think that one will probably still work. Let's get that seat out. This seat actually looks like it's good. Uh, no. Of course, for me to really restore this, I'm going to have to put like an all new interior in it because that seat is the only part of the interior that's any good. Well, actually, it looks like the door panels on those sides are good. These pedals are good. Yay. I don't think the dash is any good. Can't remember how to get the dash out. So this cow piece we bang back into shape, right? These are the wipers, which other than one of the wipers being bad, everything else looks good. Uh, firewall's okay. This door is okay, so let's take this panel off. That can go over here. Um, there's no winder on this door, so I'm going to have to get one of those. Looks like it's missing the the upper glass as well. So that's great. Um, I really do need to get this dash out of here. I need the screwdriver for that, probably. Yeah, I think I need the screwdriver for that. That takes off the door, which is good. Um, what else is holding this dash on? Oh, on the other side. Uh, screws on the other side, which I can't see. Or maybe not. Uh, hello? That's weird. So those are the pedals. I don't think I have to take those off, though. Um, let me see here. There should have been two more screws on this side. Wait, there was one. There they are. They're hiding. Is this dash any good? Yeah, I guess it is. All right. Well, we're keeping that. Um, it has no cluster or anything. This door glass is not any good. That also makes me wonder if this panel is not dinked. Because it kind of looks like it is. Um, I'm not going to cut all of this stuff off because I don't think I have to. Uh, but we need to get that glass out because that's definitely bad. That goes in the junk pile. 
Yeah, see, I might be able to fix this up with some Bondo. Um, I wonder if it'll let me let me beat on it anymore now. It does not. See, look at this pillar is screwed too. I don't know if I can straighten that with Bondo. <laughs> it might let me do it. I don't know. Do I have any here? I don't have any here, do I? Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's try it. Let's just see what happens. I'm curious. Look at that. I call that good. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> Sweet. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. All right. Well, I know I don't have to... Now I don't have to uh, replace all that junk. Look at there. Yeah. That's, that's the right way to do it, you know? Take Bondo and replace your... Uh, fix your A-pillars. It's only one of the most structural parts of your whole car. I wonder if I can do that back here, too. I'm pretty sure the hammer isn't going to let me let me do it. Yep. So yeah, I can't do that. So let's let's see if the bondo magically fixes it. It does not. It's giving me the little icon. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it good. All right. So what else do we need to replace? Uh, we need to tear this rear door apart. See what we need to fix in here. That panel is good, which is nice. Uh, we're also missing a door winder in there or a window winder. These cars must have had problems with those. <laughs> What are they, Volkswagens? All right. Um, so the entire floor pan is junk. Um, the center tunnel is good. These two items are good. Uh, gas door is okay. Um, that looks good. We got to get this fuel tank out. I said we have to get this fuel tank out. Which is only held in with one bolt, strangely enough. And I have no idea how much gas is in this. Um, 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 um. Yeah, rear suspension. What does that even look like? I think I'm going to leave it up on the rear suspension. Looks like both the springs are good. The shocks are not. Uh, these trailing arms are not. Differential is wanged. The axles are good. Um, brakes are not. We're missing a brake disc on this side. Missing it on that side, too. That actually doesn't look, too, look that bad. The upper arms look like they're... Well, looks like that one's missing, and this one is no good. To be honest, though, that's not that bad for the rear end. We are going to need a diff, which sucks. We've got no transmission. We've got no exhaust. And the floor pan is garbage. We've got a lot of work to do on this thing. Well, this has been productive. Um, so we we have this car. I'm gonna I'm gonna start like keeping track of all of the the uh, the money because I bought it for what like seven fifty, seven ninety. Look, it's even worse. It's it's worth more now for some reason. Now blown apart. I'm I'm pretty sure I bought it for seven fifty. So I'll, I'll just say seven ninety just for just to keep the numbers equal. I don't know what it actually was. Um. <clears throat> And what I'll do is go through all these parts and make a list. 
And so the next time we play, uh, I know what things to look for in the junkyard. Now I'm going to try to get as much from the junkyard as I possibly can. And, uh, and see if we can turn this thing into a, a decent car. And I'll keep track of everything that I spend on it, too. I think that sounds fun. All right. Well, this has been uh, a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. Um, I really appreciate all the support that my channel has been getting lately. It's been awesome to just see, just to see everything blow up. I mean, it's just been, uh, it's just, it's, I'm still kind of blown away by it. So, <clears throat> yeah. I uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Have a great day.